Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to The Long and Short of It, the podcast where two friends share stories that strengthen and truths that transform. Whether you're a long-term believer or just curious about God and Christianity, our goal is to encourage, empower, and equip women in the intersection of faith in everyday life. So without further ado, please welcome Andrea Waitley and Terry Meyer. And and we do want to say again, we don't script this. We have an idea and then we just trust the Holy Spirit to just take it and run. And we feel like that's exactly what he does, because our goal is to encourage you to learn to listen to the Holy Spirit and to walk in all that he has for us. And and so this time we're going to talk about some very practical topics uh, this this session. And when we see you again in a couple of weeks, we're going to wind it up with uh, the other side of the coin is what I call it. But uh, today we're going to talk about uh, what it means to be a parent to adult children, because you never stop being a parent. No, you once are a mom, always a mom. But the way that plays out changes as our children grow. And Terry, the Lord has really given you some great insights into this. So I'm just going to turn it over to you and then I'll butt in wherever. Hey, that sounds perfect. Well, obviously, you know, I feel like I both of us mm-hmm. have adult children now. And yes. so this is something that I I didn't feel early on that I had some experience and knowledge with right. that. And it is such a privilege and an honor to have adult children. Yes, I is. have told many people that um, there were moments in parenting that is very can be very, very challenging. Yes. I say parenting can be exhausting and exciting. Like it has both elements. Yes. And it is a both and. It, it yes. is a both and. Yes. Um, but it is fun to see your children when they have grown and become oh adults yeah. and then can become friends. And I, I just spoke to a young mother the other day who mm-hmm. has a teenage daughter and they were having some issues. And mm-hmm. and it's just so encouraging to be able to tell them, hold on. There are seasons of up and downs where, yes. you know, you sometimes wonder, who is this? Do I know <laughs> who this child is? I gave birth is? to a pod child. Yes, exactly. Yes. And <laughs> and so it is such a gift and a blessing. But I also think with that, there comes some boundary lines. And Very much come, so. Yeah. Um, and so it's interesting. We have some scripture that I would like to share, read, and then we'll kind of elaborate a little more. The first one I'm going to is in Matthew 20, and it's in verse 20 and 21. It says, then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus with her sons and kneeling down, asked a favor of him. What is it you want? He asked. She said, grant that one of these two sons of mine may sit at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. And he says, you don't know what you are asking. Jesus said to them, can you drink the cup I am going to drink? We can, they answered. And Jesus said to them, you will indeed drink from my cup, but to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my father. And, and you know, it's so interesting. I think that's such a beautiful example Yes, of, of a parent that maybe has not relinquished going from the board of directors to the advisory board. Exactly. And I she's use still that trying. She's a good Jewish mama. She's going to set her boys up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> to succeed. And yeah. I, I just think we reach a point and a season and stage in life where our adult children need to then make their own adult choices. Yes. And with that, yes. I, I certainly understand if it is life threatening, there are places and positions where we as parents right. can step in. Yes. Um, and must. And absolutely, and absolutely must for must. their safety and protection. Yes. But I'll be honest with you. We also are in a position, we are no longer making those decisions. When they are grown Mm -hmm. and they have moved out of the home and they are financially supporting themselves, at that point, I think we are available. I just saw a great meme on Facebook and Uh it says, put out the welcome mat, put out the welcome mat and keep your mouth shut. (laughs) And I started laughing because sometimes here's what I like to encourage people. If they ask the question, 
They want your input right. and opinion. If they don't ask the question, then there are times we have to practice biting our tongue because exactly. our temptation, our initial, I, I guess what our tendency is, is we want to share that information. However, we need to wait to be asked those things. That's sometimes. exactly right. Yeah. And, and I think, Terry, a lot of that comes from, and I say this all the time, uh, in raising children, there are two lies that we impart to our children that we need to stop. The first lie is you can be anything you want to be. You know, I wanted to be a professional ballerina. Oh, Do no, I, I look like yeah, five feet tall, kind of as wide as I am tall sometimes? No, that is never going to happen. With these little, you know, short arms, short legs. No, that was, that was not and gonna I, happen. I could want to be a professional ballerina yeah. all day long, but yeah. I couldn't be one. Right. And, right. and so that's one lie that we do. We need to tell our, the truth is we need to tell our children that they can, they will be whatever God has called Correct. them to be as they Correct. submit themselves to his right to rule yes. and reign in their lives. The second lie is we tell our children all the time, life shouldn't be hard. Right. And then we spend so much of our time trying to protect them from yes. life being hard. Yes. And then when we do that with adult children, yeah. when we're constantly rescuing them right. from their bad choices. Right. You know, maybe they shouldn't have gone out and financed a $80,000 car in place right. of a $20,000 used right. car. Right. Maybe they shouldn't have bought more house than they could mm -hmm. afford. Uh, maybe they shouldn't have taken a vacation they couldn't afford. Right. You know, the all those for. they didn't have the right. cash for. All those things, we want to rush in and rescue them. Uh you know, and it just does not help them grow and become responsible mm -hmm. adults that right. God wants them to become. Um, I remember just a very painful time in the life of my son and myself. And he there are just some things, some choices he'd made, some directions he was going. And and I kept wanting to help him. Yeah. And I kept wanting to save him and I right. kept wanting to rescue him. And I remember one day so clearly, uh, I, the Lord took me to the story of the prodigal mm -hmm. and of him not having anything. And there's a part in that story where the scripture says, uh, and no one would give him anything because mm -hmm. he was at the end of it yeah, and no one would give him anything. And I remember the Lord just dropped in my spirit. Don't give him anything. And I'll give him everything. Wow. And so I stepped back Surrender. and surrendered yeah. Josh completely to the Lord. And Josh mm -hmm. knows this, and we talk about it all the time. And then I watched God do what only he could do. Yeah. Andrea and Terry will be right back after this short break. We just want to take a moment to say thank you. This ministry could not and would not operate without you. If you feel led to partner with us in the work that we're doing, you can donate through PayPal by searching Cross My Heart 2002. The link will be in the description below. You can also partner with us for free by becoming a Share supporter. When you share our content, it helps us tremendously to reach women everywhere. It's also helpful to like, comment, and tag your friends. Once again, thank you so much for your continued support. But what would have happened if I'd kept trying right. to rescue him from life being hard? Well, you know what? You interfere with God's plan. Yes. You get in the right. way of that. And, you know, the, the other thing I think we have to caution and guard against is I told you so. Or you oh. could have. You know, the reality right. is, Andrea, nobody can learn anything for ourselves but, but us. us. That's right. And so, you know what? We had, I know a young couple that had purchased a brand new car fresh off of the lot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, because we have a few more years, wisdom and hindsight uh -huh. and thinking, oh, yeah. And then fast forward and they're like, why did we purchase a brand new car? Why did we think, uh -huh. but you know what? Sometimes people have to discover that on their own. It's yes, not something do. we can discover that just yeah. like our faith. They say, you know, God has no grandchildren. He only has children. That's exactly our right. Our faith cannot be, our faith is not an extension of who they are. It has to be personal and intimate have to with own them. it. And own if we, it. and if yes. we interfere, then we 
keep them from coming to that place of owning their faith. And, yes. I, and I look at Josh now and he's such a man of God and he, you know, the yes. things he shares on Facebook and the insights he has, it's all because he got yes. to step into, he went through the hard right. without being pre right. anything being prevented. Right. And so he knows these things. He's experienced them. And, and something else we need to remember is how patient God has been with yes. us. That when I was... 30 and stupid. You yes. Know? Oh, God exactly. was, God was so patient with me. He didn't throw his hands up in there right. and give up on me right? because he knew where he was. Set. And, and the same God that did that for us, he will do that for our adult children. Yes. And, yes. and it's us stepping back and saying, father, you are a much better parent yes. than I am. You are the perfect parent. And you know how to parent my adult child in the same way you knew how to parent my child when they were young. Right. And I don't think it keeps us from being on our knees in prayer oh, for adult children. Right. Yes. Yeah. No, I Maybe think Maybe our that's thing exactly. should be pray it, don't say it. You yes. Know? <laughs> no, that's exactly yeah. right. And I think respecting that, I think what yes. you will find is that your adult children will seek That's your opinion right. and your input and have asked suggestions. What do you think about this? How would you? And that's mm -hmm. such a gift and a blessing right. and such an honor as a parent to have your yeah. child say, mom and dad, what would you do in this situation? Or how should we handle this? Or what kind of recommendations? Right. And so right. I think it goes back to our message of Earning the right to be heard. Earning the right to be heard. Stay in your own lane. Stay in your own lane. I mean, and you know, them to love do, them freely. Yes. Let them. Yes. And, and, and then two, also, we need to affirm them when we see them walking yes. in wisdom. We need to give them credit for knowing uh, the right choices to make. Yes. And, and, and something I see a lot is parents stepping in and telling their kids, now be sure and do this and be sure yeah. and do that and don't do that. And, and, and it's very condescending yeah. because we're not giving them the credit that they deserve, right. that they probably already have enough sense to buckle their seatbelts. Right. Right. You know, right. right. Uh, not drive fast. I, I, hopefully they do. Right. But let's learn to give our adult children credit where credit yeah. is due. Let's learn to respect the fact that they know uh, the right thing to do. Yeah. They know what they uh, is wise and, and not give them advice and tell them to be sure and do something. And, or I want to have you prayed about it or have you checked on this or have you done that? That is, that can come across very insulting and, condescending. and, and very yes. condescending. And like, I think you're stupid. And, right. <laughs> And, and we don't want to do that to them because like you said, when we're respectful of them, when we give them credit, then they, on those things that do come up that they do need the voice of our experience, yes. we have freed them up to come to us instead yes. of them thinking, well, they already think I'm stupid anyway, so I'm not about to go and ask her about this or yes. check on that. Let's don't do that. Let's give them credit where credit is due. Let's give them that respect. And you know, the other thing, Andrea, I think, I think put ourselves in that role and remind ourselves how, what kind of input did we want from our parents exactly. or our in-laws yes. when we were purchasing a house or a vehicle or making decisions right. and things like that. About and so, schools or yeah, yeah, any yes. of those things. If your child, if your ch adult children say, mom, we're going to homeschool, then you, our parent. Our part is to step in and say, I fully support, support that. You. And yes. if they come back and say, no, you know, that didn't really work. We're going to put them back in public school. Then you just say, I know you have built a foundation under them yes. that they will do fine. And if anything comes up that's a concern, I know you know how to handle it. But let's encourage them in their ability to make good decisions yeah. based on getting the, first of all, I think we need to teach them, go to the Lord with it. Yes. Ask the Lord, what does he want you to do? Right. And seek then make him seek first. him first. And then if he tells them, go ask your mother, that right. works for right. us. Right, exactly. <laughs> and hopefully, too, we've planted the seeds. Yes, we're back to our seeds. Right, exactly. Yes. So it just, it builds that process. Yes. Build. Yeah. So, and we are light to them. We want to bring light yes. into their darkness. Yes. And we don't want to shame them. That's another no. thing. No. See, shame guilt brings, and shame. guilt yeah. and shame bring darkness. Yes. But 
but grace always brings yeah. light. Grace In will always bring light. Conviction versus condemnation. Exactly. You know what? Convict them, ask the question. So, yes. Andrea, would you like to close us? I in would. Prayer? So, Good. Father, I just thank you that you give us the very, very great honor mm -hmm. of still getting to parent yes, our adult Lord. children. What a gift. And what a gift that is. Mm -hmm. But Father, would you reparent us yes. in such a way that we parent them well, yes. because you are the perfect father. You yes, father. are the perfect parent. Mm -hmm. And we want to image to our adult children mm -hmm. what you have given to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope and pray that you feel equipped and encouraged. Until next time, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and anywhere podcasts are streamed. From all of us here at Cross My Heart, have a very blessed day.